In this video, we're going to look at action change versus comparison problems. Determine whether the problems are action change problems or comparison problems. So both of these types of problems are going to involve either addition or subtraction. And when we look at addition or subtraction in context, uh, there are different types of problems we can have. So, and there's even another type, but we're just going to look at action change problems and comparison problems. So an action change problem is when there's some initial amount and then there's plus, plus or minus, you're either going to add or subtract some change. Okay. So you have five dollars, you spend two, you have five dollars, you earn three. There's an initial amount, then some change, and you're finding the result. For a comparison problem, we're not adding or taking away from any initial amount. We're comparing two different quantities. Sometimes it can be uh, two different people, maybe how long their hair is, you're comparing that. Or maybe it's um, one single person but at different points in time, how much uh, your cat weighs now compared to how much your cat weighs in two years. Okay, so these are the different types of problem and problems and we're going to look at these example examples determine whether they're action change or comparison to help us uh, see this idea better. Okay, so notice we don't need to solve any of these in particular. Maybe we will along the way. Um, we're just trying to see what type of problems they are. So Tom had 132 files in a folder. He deleted 86. So these are our givens. Our goal is to find how many files remain. So lots of times you can see action change problems, they occur over time. You need time for things to change. Uh, change doesn't happen simultaneously. So notice here, this is an initial amount. He had 132 files. He did something, he deleted 86, so we'll take away 86 of these files. Okay, so we'll call this the change. Okay. So this is our action change problem. Okay. To find the result, we'd find 132 minus 86, which is 46 files. Okay. Again, not the goal of the problem. Our goal was to find that it was action change versus comparison. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Lara spent $624 on rent and Cole spent $323 more. And we want to know how much did Cole spend. Okay. So notice here, sometimes it makes it easier when there's two people. We're comparing Lara's rent to Cole's rent. And what we know is that Cole's is some amount more than Lara's rent. So this is going to be a comparison problem. We're comparing Lara and Cole's rent. Okay. And frequently you'll see words such as $323 more or Cole's could have been $323 less. Okay, And the idea is unlike the action change problem, we're not adding on any amount or taking any away any amount. So when we find Cole's rent, it will be the amount of Lara's rent plus the $323 more, but we're not adding the increase to Lara's rent. Cole's not paying it. We're not combining these into one thing. We're using this comparison to determine Cole's rent. And this would be $947. Okay. So this was a comparison problem. Let's look at the next one. 
Rebecca had $457 in her savings and she deposited $123. How much money is in her account now? Well, we're not comparing uh, the different amounts. We're taking an amount, an initial amount, and we are performing a change or an action of depositing more money and seeing what her new total is. So we're combining the 457 with the 123 to make a new amount. Okay. So this is an action change and we would find 457 plus 123 dollars that would be 580 580 dollars and let's highlight that that was an action change and let's just look at one more Bibi has 214 songs on a playlist Jared has 832 songs how many more does Jared have so here we're comparing the number of songs on Phoebe's playlist to Jared's playlist and in this case we're actually finding the difference here we knew the difference Cole spent 323 more and we used it to find how much Cole spent here we actually know the two amounts and we're comparing them so let's write that this is comparison and to find how many more Jared has we would Take Jared's number of songs, and here we're finding the difference. So we're not taking away 214 songs, okay, from Jared's list to give to Phoebe, okay. We're finding the difference between these two by using subtraction, okay. And this result is, let's see, 618 songs. So Jared has 618 songs more than Phoebe, and that was a comparison problem.